Dropping down, early offense from Jack Mack. Yamor Jack Mack, Wizard being applied by Kubati. Jack Mack right back up to her feet. Still has that front head position, but near the edge, and if you're Poland and Kubati, like she's trying to do, she's trying to get back away from giving out the step out point, and she does that. But boy, there is some pain right now from Turkey, and Yamor Chakmak is injured. Holding an arm, her left arm appears to be the one that is causing her some severe discomfort right now. Concerned look from the turkey corner, and rightfully so. Hate to see it. Imagine it's either an elbow or a bicep. But it looks like yeah, that cold spray. Looks like she is going to give it a go. Apparently is all right. She tells the team doctor she's okay. So we'll keep an eye on the left arm moving forward if that's going to be a, an area of concern for Jack Mack. And she gets taken right to her back. Coming in was Kubati. Gets the feet to back for four. Sticks in the half. Had the half on the left, had it briefly on the right, gives up on that, now drops down to the leg lace. Bang, bang, and then pop right down to the legs. I love that type of wrestling where, you know, there, there's just no wasted movement from the parterre position. A couple of those halves look like they were close to being together. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she actually might have been able to stay with the left side one and, and get a turn, but she saw a different opportunity. 4-0 lead for Poland here in this opening period. Jack Mack will continue to circle, tries to shuck her by. Good job there by Kubati keeping position underneath. And we go back to the feet. Very limited movement with that left arm. Brings her down, turns the corner, gets the takedown. Jack Mack able to get to her base. And now, as we've seen, Kubati is really good on top. <laughs> Trying to work a lace again, but runs out of time. 3.48 to go in the match. 48 seconds left, first period. All Poland with Natalia Kubati. <laughs> and Yamor Chakmak is going to have to dig deep. Injured early in the match, and really running into a buzzsaw. Kubati. Has everything working right now. Not a lot of defense. I'd say not a lot of initial defense. Her secondary defense, when she gets to her sprawl, has been good, but stopping that initial shot is key, and this is where you get tired. It, it's going to take a lot of energy if she's going to continue to allow Kubati to get in on her legs. Six nothing for Natalia Kubati of Poland after one. I want to remind you as we take a look ahead tonight, gold medal matchup coming up in this weight class: Tybi Usain, Bulgaria, and Luisa Nemish of Germany. It's been a good, good week for Germany. That's going to be the gold medal match that we follow at 62, and then you jump up to 65 more gold medal. Competition with Elise Manilova of Azerbaijan, 
Tatiana Rishko of Ukraine in the team race. That could be very big for the Ukrainians as they try to overtake Turkey. Turkey trying not to miss an opportunity in this particular bronze medal match. And then we close out the night at 72 kilos again. It's Germany, Anna Schnell, 29-year-old matched up against Bose Chabusolu Tosun of a Turkey. That will be our final match. 72 kilos, so Eric, we still have a lot of questions to be answered over the next three weights. See if the change of periods brings different fortunes for Chak Mac, and it does not look like it will, and that will be it. Four for Kubati and a bronze medal for Natalia Kubati. Who hasn't seen a lot of international competition the past couple of years, a lot of time away from the mat. The realization that her return has been a successful one. Tears of joy for Natalia. Poland wins the bronze at 62 kilos. Beautiful blast double up to her feet. Flared out, Jack Mack. Put the four on the board that she needed. Picked up the bronze medal. Love to see 